friends welcome back to my channel just wanted to come on here really quickly and update you on the books that I have been finishing recently my 30 books in 30 day challenge is not going well and I know you are not surprised <sighs> today's day 29 and it's still possible because I have today I have tomorrow <sighs> I don't know why that computer keeps going on and off I have today I have tomorrow and I have a cheat day on Wednesday Thursday the 31st is the cheat, the cheat day to see if I need one more day to finish the books that I am working on. And I do, I do, I will. But I have some books to talk to you about. So we just came back from a little vacation, a little family trip to Rhode Island. We went to Newport, Rhode Island, and we had a fantastic time. You know, the end of the summer, just had to get in one more family trip before everybody goes back to school. So we had a fantastic time. And I'll insert footage of what we did what we got up to but I'll also tell you about the books that I was reading so I finished Miss Pettigrew Lives for a Day by Winifred Watson and I really really enjoyed this one set in London and we're reading about an older woman who decides that she is going to leave behind the things that have caused her to repress her self her self-actualization and she's just going to live so I love how the book is arranged so that each chapter features a different, well, focuses on a different time in a day. So the book is set in the course of a 24 hour period. And so like chapter five is from 1.17 p.m. to 3.13 p.m. Very specific snippets of the day. And like you can see Miss Pettigrew changing during that day based on the interactions that she's having and how they make her want more from life and so i love this book it was it was funny <laughs> it was funny but it was also very emotional because i feel like like as someone who grew up um with you know some of the concerns about reputation and about perception and about um you know other people's idea of how you should live <laughs> so as someone who grew up in that time this definitely resonates with me that Miss Pettigrew would be the person that she is and also how she would be inclined, lured into changing. Yes, baby. You did the cause of the rainbow. It's so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> I also finished An American Immigrant by Joanna Horojas Van. This author is a uh, second generation Colombian American and in this one we are reading about two women of Colombian background a mother primarily a mother and her daughter there are lots of other women who appear on the pages but the relationship the the, the focus primary focus in this book is about a young woman who was born in the who was born in the United States and her parents are Colombian and then we flash back to scenes of her mother's life as she was growing up and this one includes some discussion about a lot of topics that I find really interesting, like the topic of immigration, it says it right here in the title, and about someone who wants to be a writer and has to find her voice, like has to, she almost has to be lured into showing herself, revealing herself, exposing herself in her writing. So she's been studying the great writers and really what people want from her is for her to write her story whatever that story is whatever her perspective of things that are happening that's what people are looking for so i feel like this aside from it being a really engaging story also has a lot of lessons for just how to live how to be a good writer but also how to live i also really like the exploration of the mother-daughter relationship there are a couple of different expressions of that in here but like i said the primary focus is on a mother anita and her daughter melanie and it's really interesting to explore the things that they have in common as well as the things that are different based on their different life experiences but also how they pursue the same dream from different angles 
and I really like that. So I really, really like this. This was a gift from Penguin Random House. So shout out to the publishers for sending me this book because listen, I'm here for all the books about immigration. And this was uh, this was a really, really good read. And finally, I finished Run Right Read Selection for August, which was Green Days by the River by Michael Anthony. And that was a bittersweet experience. It's a book that I read when I was a teenager and I loved rereading it as an adult decades later and seeing just how my reaction to the book is same in some places and different in some places based on things that I have experienced as a reader and as a writer um, but also the bitterness came because while I was reading the book the author died it was a 90 94 year old man and I've been following his career for a while. I've read some of his books and really just got used to the idea that Michael Anthony was one of those living legends, living legendary Caribbean author. And then he passed away. So I do want to make a tribute video to him. So I'm going to be talking about the book in a separate video. Um, for now, I'll just say it is about a boy growing up in Trinidad and his, his life and loves the two girls, <laughs> the two relationships, Mommy. two kind of romantic relationships that he's pursuing in this book. Not because he is necessarily a two-timer, but he gets caught up in the pursuit of other people's ideas of what he should be and what he should do. And I love the author's focus on childhood and juvenile experience youth <laughs> i love the author's exploration of youth in the caribbean um what youth looks like for boys um and so yeah those are the three books that i finished most recently and now i'm going to go back to reading because i have a lot of books on the go that i need to finish I need to finish three more maybe tonight so i can be in good standing to complete this challenge, hopefully before the end of the week. So yeah. you wanna be on the video? Arrgh, hey princess. I'm tired. You're tired? Okay, we're gonna eat dinner now and then you could, you could. <laughs> yeah, I thought, I thought you were tired. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back soon with another video and I hope you'll join me for it. Until then, happy reading, bye. Hehehehe <laughs>